Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading and this is for Taurus Ascendant. Sun, Rising and Venus Placement in their chart. Jupiter may also resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Taurus, you're gonna assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might wanna consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I'm doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There's a link in the description box. Click that link, you'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading. So Taurus, if you want to know your lucky numbers and lucky color dated January the 1st to January the 7th, follow me on Instagram. If you also want to know your lucky, uh, your financial forecast for the months of January, follow me on Instagram as well. If you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, you can come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. Taurus, if you are into twin flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card and channel messages, you might as well subscribe to the other channel, Timeless Tarot 111. I hope to see you there. Let's begin. Taurus, your first card is the Magician and the Page of Swords. I can see, Taurus, that you are manifesting a commitment or someone is manifesting a commitment. It's either you or the Cross Watchers. Cross Watchers, if you feel like this is your reading, so be it. And Taurus, if you feel like you are in the Cross Watchers side, that is okay. I am not reading which side you at. I am reading the energy. I can see that this person, whoever this is, is manifesting this commitment, this stability. I can see that this connection, what this person wanted is to put this connection into another level. I can sense here someone's happiness is only achieved or will be achieved by having this commitment, by having this contract. Um, is it about to happen? Oh, this is a very powerful combination. The magician and the high priestess. You know, your intuition plus your manifestation, if they're going to go together, I can see here that your intuition as of the moment is not going to give you or not going to trick you, okay? I wonder if there is a full card here, especially if there is a full card, you know, that's really powerful with the magician and the high priestess because you're gonna have your full trust with your manifestation okay i can see here that still even though that you have the manifestation still at the back of your mind there are some uh, some bit of negative thoughts that you are thinking here um i can sense that your person see i told you you're probably also thinking or probably you're you already know because your intuitions are heightened here that your person wanted to express this so but there's they are having a hard time to express their emotion okay the part here is if this is a surprise from your person it will no longer be a surprise to you because your intuitions are really heightened um, for a few numbers of you yes you are searching for an answer probably you're also that's the reason why you are here you know watching tarot this person is not just a person that you met randomly okay you might be connecting with a cancer i mean with, with a gemini or has a gemini placement in their chart or you have a gemini placement in your chart which only makes sense because right after taurus it's gemini this person is your twin flame your twin now is already enlightened i think your twin probably let's say gives you a lot of things to wait you know or probably burden probably worry in the last year but they did their shadow works right for those of you who are not familiar with the shadow working 
It is not about spell. It is about real um, that about realizing, acknowledging, right? Acknowledging what is in your sh shadow side. What's what it is that's weighing your manifestation. It's kind of like acknowledging them, resurfacing them, and solved it. Because most people tried to run from or probably reject those ideas. Um, try not to focus on their weaknesses, right? But this person tried to focus on that so that it can be transferred or transform rather into a strength so this person now is very enlightened um they're manifesting also this connection to come to fruition for a few numbers of you you are separated with this person you might be connected with a scorpio or has a scorpio placement in their chart or you have a scorpio placement in your chart they're manifesting a second chance in this connection i think that this person for a few numbers of you um this is a small percentage probably this person is was in, incarcerated right probably this person in that isolation they did their shadow work and they manifested it for a few numbers of you um i think that they also isolate themselves in a room you know trying to soul search as well and they found out that this is a twin flame connection now they're manifesting you back i can see here that this person probably this you you have an age gap with this person you know something in them that grows from their isolation realization now they're manifesting you they're manifesting this connection let's check here and clarify the shadow words you know this person probably also turned their back on you now you know that both of you okay are a twin flame um i can sense here i can sense a strong um completion of the union in this connection the death card they really wanted to have a completion as i told you completion right but however this person probably turned their back and also focused on other energies let's say on a third party now they learned they want to come back you might be connected with a cancer or has a cancer placement in their chart or you have a cancer placement in your chart they are just waiting for sign from the universe um, waiting for the ship to come in so that they can come back to your life and return compensate on those shortcomings this is your reading here taurus if you resonate with this and you want to go in depth you can book a personal reading with me if you're okay with this reading and you just have a question or two there's a link in the description box click that link you will be routed to my page type in your question and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be full reading I hope to see you also in the other channel, Timeless Tarot 111. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.